Cut out the black panel from the acetate, leaving about 1mm excess around the window's edge. Glue in place with a suitable adhesive. Repeat this with the side windows. Bend a 1.5mm strip to match the curve of the bottom windows. All the strips on the rear of the gallery will need bending in two directions to match the window line and also the forward curve of the transom itself. Stain the strip walnut or paint it black and then glue them into place. Now bend and stain or paint three strips of 2mm square wood and fix them as shown. The top strip can be glued with normal wood glue but the other two must be glued with clear glue. Covered stain two more 2mm square strips and glue them below the top rows of windows using clear glue. Use some of the balusters, castings and spaces to make sure that the gap between the strips is correct. Vertical frames between the lower two rows of windows using 1x4mm strips, stained or painted. Now use 1x3mm strips to add vertical frames to the top row of windows. Fit two 1.5mm square strips down the sides of the window frames. These can be glued with normal wood glue. Stain and fit a 1x3mm strip of wood the full length of the transom at the bottom of the gallery windows. This will need pinning while the glue dries. Continue with the sides of the gallery as per steps 13 to 21 in your instructions. Cut back the rear ends of the frames using the steel rule as a guide. Add a 1x3mm strip along the bottom of the gallery.
Now add 1x4mm strips along the rear edge of the gallery. Fill in the gap between the aft windows and the aft strip with 1x4mm strips. Then two short strips of 1x3mm wood, stain them walnut or paint them black and then glue in place with one edge flush with the front face of the transom. Sand the ends flush to fit the adjacent strips. Repeat this on the other side. Now fit strips of stained or painted 1x3mm wood strip to trim the top and sides of the transom. Carefully fit the balusters following steps 1 to 4 in your instructions on page 467. Apply a series of scrolled mouldings down the outside of the bulwarks around the poop deck. Bend three strips of 1.5mm square wood for each side, checking the curves against the model and using the photos in your instructions as a guide. Assemble the parts supplied with stage 82. Now, although they are not fitted until later, the job is similar to the previous chain wells in stage 75. Refer back to the stage for more details of the technique used.
Adding the four castle timber heads, take the four semicircular castings and paint them black. Construct 34 timber heads from 3x3mm wood. Each of them should be 10mm long with a 3mm tapered top section. You can make a jig from a mitre block with a wooden stop clamp and clamped in as used in stage 79 to ensure that the posts are all cut to the same length. Cut a 60mm from a 2x6 strip to cut from the central forward for ferrofail. Mark and drill a 3mm holes using the plan in your instructions. It's a difficult drilling close to the end of the wood so it will be easier to make the end holes in the next step. Use a sharp pointed knife to form the round holes into square holes. Cut square notches in the ends. Try 3mm timber heads into the holes to make sure that they fit. Rest the ferrofile on two offcuts of 3mm wood to ensure that it is at the right height. Glue six posts in position, being careful not to stick the temporary spaces to the ferrofile by mistake.
Now paint the assembly and glue this in place centrally on the forward bulwark using superglue. The rear edge of the ferrofail should be in line with the rear edge of the bulwark cap. Glue a metal casting on either side of the central ferrofail using superglue. Then cut a strip of 2x6mm wood so it fits as shown leaving a 6mm gap between the end of the wood and the outer side of the bulwark cap. Cut a 3mm notch in each end and glue two posts in place. Use the 3mm temporary spaces to make sure that the ferrofail is at the same height as the before. Stain the part or paint it black and glue it into place as shown. Use your plans to measure two forward side ferrofails. Glue two timber heads in each rail using the spaces as before. Try these short rails in position and you'll have to trim them at the front end slightly to angle so it's against the forward beam. Then glue into position. Now glue the semicircular castings at the end of these rails. Take a 2x6mm strip and fit it against the metal casting running along the bulwark. Measure its length against the model and make a mark so you can cut the rear side rail to finish 5mm short of the end of the bulwark cap. Follow step 16 to 19 for the completion of these side rails. Rigging the gun decks. You will need six deck guns that were provided in previous stages plus the parts of the gun tackle that were provided in stages 73, 76 and 82. If you haven't already done so, rig six guns as shown in your instructions and in stage 49, preparing the gun tackle in steps 1 to 6.
Take one of the ladder sides and hold it in place in the opening so that the slots for the steps are level. Mark the top of the ladder for cutting flush with the deck, then carefully following steps 2 to 9, adding the companionway ladder details.